Welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Shravan, Assistant Professor, VVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. In our last few videos, we have discussed on selling skills, that is listening skills, communication skills, conflict management skills and negotiation skills. In this video, we are going to learn and understand the last skill that is required for the sales that is problem solving skills the ability to solve the problem is a basic life skill and is essential to our day-to-day -day life at home at school and even at work also we solve problems every day without really thinking about how we solve them so first let us understand the definition of the problem solving then we'll proceed to the steps involved in the problem solving first what is problem solving problem solving is a, a systematic approach to define the problem and creating a vast number of solution without judging whether this solution is right or wrong in short a problem solving skills helps you to identify the source of problem and find an effective solution. Now we'll move on to the steps involved in the problem solving process. The problem solving process brings you the logicality into the decision making. That is why we are learning step by step. The first step is define the problem. Second is generate alternative solutions third is decide the solution fourth is implement the solution and lastly evaluate the solution let's go one by one we'll analyze in depth now first step is defining the problem there is a saying problem well stated is problem half solved so for that we need to state the problem statement clearly for that first we need to collect all the relevant information of the problem then you check the background of the problem from where the problem is coming whether the problem is coming from sales executive or from manager or from customer like that you need to check the background then list out or check all the possible constraints that is creating a hindrance in solving the problem once you list out all the hindrance then check is there a problem within a problem if such is there then check whether that can be dealt separately or not because all the problems cannot be solved simultaneously and lastly reframe or restate the problem statement once again these are the steps that you should follow while defining the problem next is generate alternative solutions analyze the problem so you fully understand it and develop ideas which will achieve the goal this can be done through brainstorming. Brainstorming is a technique to produce ideas or solution through group discussion. Through brainstorming, generate alternative solution such that it provide a wide range. While generating the solution, please record all the comments or the critics which is very very important in the future for analyzing the possible constraint of that solution to get the wide range of solution use different group of people such that it provides a divergent thinking that is thinking in all direction this is how we can able to generate all the possible alternative solutions now the third step is deciding the solution this stage is a process of decision making based on 
comparing the possible outcomes with alternative solution. This stage involves first is identifying all the parts of the solutions. Otherwise, this solution may become a problem in the near future. Second is eliminate all the solutions that do not meet your criteria because unnecessarily you are wasting your time, energy and resources. Third is evaluate the solutions against the desired outcome whether the solution is meeting my criteria or not. If it is meeting, proceed. Next is assess the risk because there are solutions which are having a high risk and there are solutions which are having a low risk. Both are giving a same possible outcome. So you need to choose the solutions with the low risk. For that itself only, you need to assess the risk associated with it. And the last is take a decision and to implement it. While you are taking the decision, three things you should keep it in mind. First is, are you selecting the appropriate solution? First, check it. Second is, whether the solution is low cost. The third is, whether it is highly effective or not. If you are taking this in mind, then you can able to proceed with the decision making to decide the possible solution for your problem. Now the fourth stage is implementing the best solution. Here in this stage, whichever the solution that you have selected from the previous stage, that is, you have got so many solutions. Out of that, you have selected one among them. That you need to implement in this. That is what the stage is. It involves accepting and carrying out the chosen course of action. The first step is implementing the solution is to get the organizational approval because they are the people who are giving necessary resources that resources may be human resources or financial resources or any other resources the best way to implement the solution is to sketch it out how you are going to implement step by step so that you can monitor and follow up that is what it is you are planning the time and the resources and lastly, follow-up is necessary because you need to check whether the implementation is going as per my plan or not. If there is any deviation, correct it then and there itself only so that you can implement the solution in a best effective manner. Now the last stage is evaluation. Here in this stage, you are evaluating the solution by measuring its performance against the actual plan. Whether the performance and actual plan is same. If it is not same, why the deviation has happened? Correct it then and there itself only. So that you can get the best possible solution for a problem. It's not a one-time action. It is an ongoing process these are the steps involved in the problem solving in a systematic manner to get effective solution thank you for watching this video on problem solving skills in our next video we'll discuss on sales process we'll meet again until then thank you